Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry. Jeff, good to see you and congratulations on the big win. I, I know there's a lot of media attention around this decision. Um, again, that you have uh, uh, the, the White House and others saying there's disinformation on social media platforms in regard to COVID vaccines and masks um, or the origins of COVID, which, by the way, that was disinformation itself. Um, were you surprised at the ruling? No, I was elated at the ruling. <clears throat> we were pleasantly surprised. I think it came on probably the most the best pick day of the year, that being the 4th of July, Independence Day. The judge issued a very detailed 154-page ruling. I would encourage Americans to go out there and take a look at it and read it. I mean, look, <clears throat> he lays it out. It doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican. What you find in this opinion was that the government, if you didn't agree with them, if you were not marching to their song, they would muzzle you. And what's amazing is that the response right now, Sean, is that people say, well, the government, you know, will not be able to say what they need on social media. Or they, they won't be able to interact with, with social media. That's not true. No one's muzzling the government. We just want, we don't want the government muzzling people. Right. And actually, A.G. Landry, there are a lot of carve outs in this opinion that allow for the government to have communication with the social media companies as long as they're not censoring um, free speech. So many are hailing this as a win for the First Amendment in this country. But procedurally speaking, what happens next? Because this was a temporary injunction. Yeah, so this case is really in its infancy stages, which we can't wait to get more discovery, go out and have more depositions taken. No telling what we're gonna find inside of more emails and more depositions. Remember, we deposed Dr. Anthony Fauci back uh, right before Thanksgiving, Elvis Chan with the FBI. This is part and parcel of the evidence that the judge saw in granting this preliminary injunction. Now, I'm sure that the D Department of Justice will try to take this case to the Fifth Circuit uh, and lift this injunction Junction. Uh, we intend to defend that. But again, this case is in its infancy stages and we intend to litigate it.